coming up. Construction of the mining rig begins, and we go for a bit of a journey to find a radioactive gold mine. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Welcome back. Last time out, uh, we had the antenna built, we had an ore detector built, and we're going to see because Jacobin has apparently got a mad plan, quoting his own words, uh, to save resources, I believe. So let's see yes. what his mad plan is in this survival well, mode where we must survive with limited resources. Is it bad that I can't see this thing? Uh, I can see it rather clearly. Right. Oh, uh, there no, 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 as in the drill beneath the rotor. No, we can. Can you see the drill, Vectrix? Um, I can see no drills. I can see a framework for a drill right in front of me. Interesting. I can um, see nothing. Well, uh, I can weld it up. It, it works like that. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to need to drill a bit of a hole, but then I'm going to add more rotors and pistons and stuff to this thing so that I can save on resources only needing one drill. It's madness. I can hear you, I, I can hear it being made, but I can't see it. I can yeah. see it, and I'll tell you something: the lens flare at certain angles is killing me. Right. It's Sorry. it's a regular J.J. Abrams film right here. Uh, Sixty construction, forty-four small, twenty large. Uh, if you guys can help uh, with the construction. Yeah, uh, I think I just added a little bit geez. to it. I think. Nope, I didn't add anything to it. Okay, what's an octocore? Uh, an octocore is um, something that improves a tool, a um, ship tool's um, ability to do things. Um, the reason why I was asking for uranium is because it requires uranium. Okay, well, uh, I do have good news. Vectrix, take a look around with the broadcasting. Oh, I see uranium, I see gold. I see iron, I see cobalt. Magnesium right below us. Whoa. Nickel, silicon, magnesium, cobalt. Where's the uranium? I uranium and uranium. gold is towards the north. Right, I'm going to go towards Northwest. there and... Uh, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, let me, let's top up our hydrogen tanks. Uh, can I ask that you get a bit of gold as well? Because um, we need those for octocores. Yeah, if we can have a look. I think we may have a little bit of gold. I had a look. Don't think we have any. Ah, okay. Right, well, I've, I've got steel a drill. plates on me and it's not adding any. There's a large drill tier two. Uh, let me have a look. Wait, I've just... Mm, okay, let me let me have a quick look at no, this. I've got 237 steel plates on me. That's because, the steel, that's because the steel plates are full. Well, it's it not, mm, it not showing that the steel plates are full. 340 yeah. steel plates all filled. Yeah. Mm. Let's put it's the rest of the components up. in. Small yeah. steel tubes, ah, large steel ah, tubes. Yeah, I'm getting ah, confused no, as to what's missing. I can see it too. I think I we need getting, more large steel getting, tubes. I was getting confused as to what was uh, what it needed. Right. I'm going to have a hundred large steel tubes being made. Sounds good. Um, because I think you're going to need some. Does it need motors? Uh, I think um, it does I've, need a I've few. Thrown, I've thrown motors on there. Oh, it needs some small steel tubes and construction components, I believe, as well as the octocore itself. The refinery is refining more iron. I think that's probably a good idea. We need 16 uh, large steel and then the 16 octo cores. We've got two hours of fuel left currently. However, if I were to use some of this uranium right now, we can top up our fuel. So I'm going to do that. So we can top up our batteries. And then okay. we'll go get more uranium, and if we can, if we can figure out how how this uranium is, how close this uranium is to the ground, which I'm going to assume, it's 500 meters in that direction. Looking at where we are, 600 meters to me. I'm going there now. I'm going to join you in a moment. I think it's about 70 meters underground. 70 or 60 meters underground. I'm just going to drop off what I don't need, so I don't need my. Actually, I'm going to keep all this. where the gold is as well. It looks like they're close to each other, so it'll be gold and uranium mine. Which means that the gold can't be used because it's radioactive. No. <laughs> oh, it does seem that way. Yeah. 
I can hear you just following me closely with your powers. There you are, you're flying past. I'll just run now I'll for the rest try. of the way. We're yeah, not too I'll far away from it. Bother with it. It does take for a now. little bit of getting used to. Yeah. I'm guessing you guys are over at the gold deposit? A gold and uranium, yep. They're not too far from each other. Around about, what, 100 meters from each other? I'm not got, I haven't got the... Is this where we are? Okay. Uranium is... Oh, I was about right. It's about 80 meters underground. I said about 70, didn't I? Okay, yeah. it's 80 meters Where, underground. Whereas the gold is The gold 100. is 100. Well, for me, it's showing 100. Well, yeah, I need to walk more towards it. Okay, here's an idea. This is a hill. What if we dug into the side of the hill instead? That could work. That would save us. So if we can dig into the side of the hill and just walk straight. So if we can find a place where we're roughly perpendicular to both the gold and the uranium. I don't think we're going to find a place that's perpendicular. That's or somewhat. Like that. But we can go diagonally. How about... Look, I think this point here. This point here is fairly flat to the gold. Sort of. Can you see me? Yes. Just just here. That looks like a good point to to uh, dig in. What do you think, Vectrix? You're the geologist. Well, this one could... uranium is 87.8 meters away from me. Where's the gold? The gold should be directly ahead in the direction I'm looking. 200. 200 meters. So we just dig straight and then branch off for the uranium. Okay. Okay. And of course, that is the... Yeah, this is much better. It's much easier to walk through this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um... Can we damage each other with each other? Yes, you can. In that case, I will... I was going to say, do you want to dig towards the uranium from that point? Uh... Jacobin, you're starting to decrease at a much more rapid angle or drop in at a much more rapid angle just be uh, a little bit careful directly towards the gold pin on my uh, hut okay that's fine just just be a little bit careful that we don't do what we I actually work did out the best way to get into the uranium you need to be uh, i'm thinking like, i'm thinking what if you no if you come down here vectrix if you come down here around this we're about 50 about 50 meters away if you dig straight for a little while and then start peeling in. I'm just going to check in. I'm not going at a stupid angle. Going up slightly, actually. Yeah, you're going up slightly. Um, I'll, I'll keep an... I think Jacobin's got this. If you want, I'll follow you to just ensure that everything's okay on this side. I'm about 100 metres away from the gold deposit. Okay. Yeah, Vectrix, you're going down at a nice angle now. Just make sure you keep that angle, if you can. Basically, the angle points straight at the uranium. Oh, that's good, then. Okay, Jacobin's that way. Got a decent amount. Uh, how's your energy looking, by the way, Vectrix? Uh, 75. And minus 48. Ooh. Right, this is a this is a good good sign for us. Uh, the fact that we found this uranium now. So How's what we, the angle? Um, hold on, a little bit steeper than I'd like, but it's still walkable, so we're okay. I'll start pointing just above the uranium then. Yeah, if you want, you could try and circle it a little bit to give you a bit of an S turn to to ensure that you get down to it without dropping. But I tell you something, this is a much better angle than the first mine. Much better uh, angle. I would like to mention there's also a uranium deposit right next to the gold. Ah. Like 10 meters away from it as well. All right, I'll go. Th All I'll right. go towards but, you. But the uh, uranium deposit that you guys are currently at is closer. Well, I'm uh, going to head towards you and just see if this is the same uranium deposit. Question: Could it be that the auditor didn't detect that uranium because it was either a too far away or too small? Um. I think it was because it was the same deposit. Yeah, I think it is uh, the same so it's deposit. Identified. Oh, right, okay. Which means that we've got enough uranium forever. Well, uh, until we create massive spaceships. 
until we create massive spaceships. But then again, we'll be in space with that, so... Okay, now, here's the next problem. I've already hit the uranium right next to you, uh, yes. Jacobine. Now, the next problem I'm, we're going to have is that every bit of uranium I mine is going to fall straight down this hole. Yes. Is um, there a place where you can create a... Ooh, that's a bit steep, isn't it? Uh, is there a place where you can co uh, create a collection divot or something? Um, yeah, give me a second. Uh, we'll try and this is just a, I admit this is a tad too steep suddenly, so I'm going to have to try Yeah, this is this has gotten a little steep as well. Uh, so if we do that, then what we do is we go around from here and down. I'm trying to work out a way of flattening this out. It's too steep. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually, that's that's really good. That works. We should be able to get into the divot, grab the uranium. And get out. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to start digging some of this uranium then. Okay. So watch out British for falling. Frustrating. Ah, small problem. What's that? I dug the uranium. It went. It did a pinball and went exactly where we didn't want it to go. <laughs> right. But it's all right because you've hit the gold. So I suppose it's just going to collect with the gold now. Yes. All right. What's frustrating, Vectrix? Right, I'm trying to get it right. That bit's done. Right, the bit where it's not easy to get it flattened out, so it's possible it won't get back out. Have you have you got to the uranium? Nope. Do you want to come to this part of uranium, this area of uranium first, and we'll just collect what we can here before going back to your one? It's up to you if you want to continue digging up your your way. Right, I'm actually going to come down the Jacobine to see uh, if I can pick up this uranium and some of that gold. That you wow, the gold is uh, very gold. Yes, that's okay. That's a little bit too gold. Well, it's better than everything being grey. That's true. Grey? What's wrong with grey? Uh, you didn't. You never played Space Engineers right back at the start, and uh, oh, when put you this way. things. You, you want to come that through is, here? Yeah. That is very gold. That's what, what we're saying. Like. Here, here, come. Right, there's a uranium chunk. Right, Vectrix behind you. Behind you. There's a uranium chunk. That's what a uranium chunk looks like. Just look in there. Can you see it? Uh -huh. And then the uranium is just here, this this dark, purpley, black, bluey patch. Ooh, Not to be mistaken with silicon, which looks very similar. It does. Right, uh, only small problem. I think we need to... In it, why are you standing on me? We need to, I think... I'm not meaning to. Right, hold on. I'm going to... I'm going to dig a little bit more so we've got some space. I should give us some standing space around the area. Gold, gold. Right, I'm going to start uh, refining some of the gold I've collected so I can get the drill operational. All right, there we go. We are. We now have got a lot more space. Um, right. I think I am full. Yeah, my inventory is full. So with uranium. So I am going to run back. Or probably. I'm just try to get some more gold out of here. Okay. This is a very well-built tunnel, or well-bored tunnel. Yeah, that makes I, sense. I'm, I'm going to increase the size to a 2x3, or someone uh, I, else can increase the size. I've just increased the size around the uranium so that we can move yeah. uh, around from each other. Uh, okay. Oh, lovely. Uh, I can actually navigate in the dark, sort of, from the distance with by the light of the ow, uh, by the light of the base that's a good sign always a good sign when you could do that all right um 
after that gold's done, I've got uranium that's going to be... Right, any, any uranium that's made f in the refinery now, feel free to use that. Okay. Or, I suppose alternately, you could use the uranium that's in the reactor. Yeah, that would probably be better. Yeah, if you use the re uranium that's in the reactor, and then we'll put new uranium in the reactor. Because I suppose that would be quicker. Yeah. How far into this episode are we? 15 minutes. Right. Uh, you know what we should do? We should actually mark this uranium tunnel entrance so that we don't need to have the antenna on. That will save us some power. True. So let me just get to uh, the entrance. Is it, worth, so, is it worth someone nipping all the cobalt just to signify that as well? Oh no, we can switch it on afterwards when, just to figure out the area, I suppose. In fact, uh, you could set up a timer so that, act, so that it pings every 10 seconds. That's true. That's true. We'll probably have to do that too. Uh, I'm actually going to set this entrance, set a GPS coordinates for this entrance. Uh, new from current position. This is the um, gold... Radioactive gold mine. Nope. Uh, ah, never mind, that doesn't fit. Rubbish. Yeah, okay, radioactive gold mine. Ah, uh, yes, I remember how long it takes to craft these octocores. How I've long? I've been sitting here for 30 seconds and 50% of one. Oh dear. <laughs> so, Sorry. yeah, uh, uh, we'll have this done in 10 minutes. 15? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, 15, roughly. So uh, 15 minutes is how long that shall take. All right, there's a radioactive gold mine. Um, Mr. Jacobine, you could probably switch off the uh, antenna now. Uh, we yeah. don't need it for now. Silicon, magnesium, nickel, we know where those are. They're right below us. Uh, iron we've got for plentiful. And cobalt we don't have to really worry about too much anyway. What's have... cobalt used in? Uh, I'm not too sure, but we don't need it just yet. Uh, it's used in some of the... Basic components like metal grid, um, interior plate. I can't remember. I don't think interior plates use cobalt, do they? No, they don't. I, I think interior plates, metal grids, and steel uh, steel plates all use iron. Uh, um, gravity generator uh, Gravity generators use them. Thruster components use them, don't they? Hydrogen injectors. Uh, thruster components, I believe, they also use them. Yeah, I, I remember them using them at one point because that's the one thing that I lost out on the crash red ship. I couldn't find any cobalt to add more thrusters and repair the thrusters I had. Help. Right. I'm just expanding this tunnel a smidge. Uh, part of it anyway, so that we can walk in and out. Is NES sensor antenna our antenna? Yes, that's our antenna. Until it's switched cool. off in a few moments. Right now. Yeah. Um, Interesting, right. I'm still seeing everything. Um, oh, there it goes, it's gone. Yeah. That's better. Of delay. So, uh, I'm doing a bit of naming of some of the stuff uh, that goes into categories. So, for example, everything that's part of the drill is named drill. Okay, yeah, and, that's fine. And then whatever it is. So, for example, eh, I'm, I'm naming the ball detector and the antenna and any other sensors we might have as a sensor, so it's easy to locate. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. I was intended to do that at some point anyway, so you might as well just get it going now. Whilst it's uh, it's probably just easier to do it on the run. I'll be honest, I didn't think we were going to be getting this far this quickly. Uh, I, I was expecting another few hours of gameplay before we can get to this stage, but I think finding this uranium has changed everything. Yes. Because uh, we have a because uh, that means we can use more powerful stuff. Exactly, and we can we can actually start building more now. Well, what's more important to bring back? Uranium or gold? Um I've got enough gold so I would probably say uranium at this point. Cool. There's some uranium and gold at the bottom of this gold mine. Just pick up all of that. Uh, that may even have you f completely full by the time you've picked that up. Mm -hmm. 
I have, have an unknown signal, but it's... Uh, Vectrix, read the description. Away. Read the description of the uh, GPS location. I don't see a description. You don't see a description? Oh, this is by EC Gadget. Oh, well that's rubbish. What was it supposed to say? It said, always believe in your soul. Right. And it's a reference you probably won't get. It's a reference no. I only know because of my parents. Gold, um, always believe in your soul. Right. It's a song. Okay. I... I... I, I, I don't think I don't song. think I, I don't think I listen to the sort of songs that have all sort of lyrics. I it's it's something that used to come on the radio. I don't even like the song, but those that line that's the only line I know. I don't I don't even know who sings it. Someone ballet? No, that's not right. I I don't know. Put it this way, it's much older than Vanilla Ice. I was alive when Vanilla Ice was a was a thing. I wasn't alive when that was a thing. Vanilla, vanilla Ice was never really a thing. It was a thing for about three or four milliseconds in 1993. Alright. You set back the world's culture by about 12 years ago. That it did, yeah. That's when you can serve a estimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll, I'll give you that. The so you... of the assembler being too slow. So oh, you've put yield modules on it. on it. Okay, giddy. In fact, I was thinking of doing that to the refinery, particularly as we're working on uranium. We could yes. really do with uh, enhanced yield from for uranium. I think we have the resources to do it at this point. Exactly, and we've got the uranium to put the extra power in. Yeah. So it's, what, uh, it's... I'd uh, what I'd recommend is two yield modules and two speed modules, so that it will also refine things faster. Because uh... we're about to hook it up to a iron mine. Module. Uh, da -da -da. Do you mean a magnesium and nickel mine down there? Well, you know we've got a stone extractor module too, but we can use that after. That will just extract resources from stone. Which is something we could use. Alright, let's have a look at what these require. 100 steel plates per per module, is that? Yep, 100 steel plates per module. Uh, construction components, small steel tubes, large steel tubes, ooh, metal grids. Alright. Let's get this going. Uh, anything that's being refined right now that I should probably not stop? Uh, it's currently doing uranium. Uh, sorry, not refined, assembled. It's the octo. It's those cores. Okay. Um, yeah, you can interrupt them. If you no, it's, it's all right. I think I think we've got enough to do the yield, not the speed modules, but we, we need to get large steel plate tubes. Steel plate for it. Oh, wow! We have run out of steel plates. How did that happen? The drill. It's like uh, 350 steel plate. Oh wow! Okay, so I am going to have to interrupt that then for steel plates. Yes. Right, it's got ten to go. So, oh, we need, how much iron have we got available? Uh, we've got a fair amount of iron to make a fair, fair bunch of stuff. So, let's go ahead and make. I'm going to make a hundred steel plates. No, let's just make two hundred steel plates because that's pretty quick. Ah, we are going to run out of iron. Okay, we're going to have to divert to iron very, very soon. On it. Uh, I've got that. That should give us enough iron to do that, or not. All right, I tell you what, we'll do not a hundred. No, stop that. Uh, Ninety-eight. There we go. That's a hundred of those. We just need to get a few metal grids. Let's do not a hundred again. Uh, ten. Not ten, actually. 30. I'll get your octocores running again in a moment. Okay. I'm just trying to get the resources required for uh, for these yield modules all in one go. Oh, hello, Vectrix. Hello. Just saw just saw uh, 
a blue uniform just pop up right next to the refinery. Okay, that's that. Let me just have a look at these modules again. Iron. Seven, I right. Will, uh, recharge so, uh, ten my of those. Prefer. Ten of those. That's plenty. Eighty steel plates. Okay, we're gonna need more steel plates. Uh, Vectrix, if you want to wait a moment, um, this episode's just about over, so oh. we can we can go get iron in the next one. Just want to do that. 130, 80. All right, we are going to <laughs> run out of that. Doing a lot of counting again. Oh, we're out of that. Well, that's that. A lot of counting. Counting with Vec is a thing on my stream. Is it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I Because I do, do seven days to die and eco and various other games, we got to, where I'm spacing stuff out. Yeah. I'm sort of like one, two, three, four, five, right? Place so, there, one, two. So pretty much like what I was doing with Minecraft. And we'll be doing the same with this, I guarantee you. And that's a good way to end the episode. Learning how to count to five. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>Thank you very much for watching this episode of Space Engineers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to catch more episodes. If you have not yet done so, please follow me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget and please consider also supporting me on Patreon www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Lastly, please do follow or subscribe to all the other players in this series. Channel links to the channels for Vectrix, Snaggles, Carter and Jacobine will be in the description box below as will the links to my Patreon and Twitch. Once again, thank you, and we shall see you soon in Space Engineers.